All right, so I am making this video very quickly. I, yep, um, <laughs> I'm trying to turn this video around very quickly because something big just happened with YouTube Shorts. There hasn't really been an uh, official announcement. There was an announcement this was going to happen, but it just happened. And I'm, I'm gonna talk all about it, but here, here's what it is. They have dramatically increased the library of full YouTube videos that you can pull from and sample the audio to use in your own shorts. Let's look at it. I'm in the YouTube app. I'm recording on my phone right now. Now, uh, in a lot of places around the world currently, the beta for YouTube Shorts has rolled out and they've said that they are going to be um, uh, increasing the tools and the abilities in that. And if you've had access to the beta for YouTube Shorts, uh, get on your phone and check this out for yourself uh, right now. For a little while now, uh, they've had this functionality tied to official music videos, and that's been cool, but now it has been rolled out so much more widely. Here I am looking at uh, the most recent video from Wellen, a gaming creator I really like. And you'll see that underneath his video, you now have this option to create. And if you click that, it pulls up the shorts camera. Here's the camera I'm recording on. And when you hold the record button, it uses the audio from the video you were watching at the point you clicked to use it as a short. So you watch this. It's the most dangerous prey, a cunning target that thinks and employs its own devious strategies. So that doesn't make sense because my camera is, is not a target. But watch, if I click that next button, like I am complete with filming. It's the most dangerous prey, a cunning target that thinks it, it starts to play back that video with the source audio that you were hearing when you recorded it, just like a TikTok. But this is audio from the video you chose to sample. I'm getting, I'm getting a little, getting a little sweaty. <laughs> And if you want to mess with timing, you can come down to this adjust clip here and scan the entire video pulling from a completely separate thing. I'm just going somewhere completely random. Let's see where we're at. Watch this. Okay, so this is a really big deal. <laughs> and we have known that it's coming for a little bit. Uh, Ryan Wyatt Fwiz on Twitter, who's in charge of a lot of the gaming side on YouTube, said this was coming and I've been waiting for it. And even before that, in the YouTube studio, um, it rolled out to, I believe, all creators. You now had an option to uh, disable the sampling of your videos in shorts like this. And I think that might be some of the reason why now if you go to a certain creator and you can't do this, it's probably because there was a little bit of a stink about that. And so I, I think some creators probably just turn that off. I also think um, among creators that you can sample, I found specifically a creator I love, Nakey Jakey, you could sample some of his videos and not others. And I believe that probably has to do with some videos getting hit with a copyright strike. If a video has received a copyright strike, I wouldn't be surprised if you are not able to share any parts of the video in your shorts. And I did a fair bit of jumping around on YouTube and there are tons of creators, tons of giant videos that you can pull audio from. You can pull audio from entire episodes of the Gus and Eddie podcast, an hour long podcast. You can pull any clip then make it into a short. And going back to, you can pull audio from the Potter Puppet Pals mysterious ticking noise video. <laughs> And when you publish the short, it recognizes that this audio is from the original video. So if someone watches it, it says, hey, that's interesting. They just have to click the audio and they're back at the source video. This is very exciting. And I think it will be one giant push towards getting YouTube shorts where it's kind of been churning for a little while, uh, especially people pumping in just normal TikTok content, pushing it through shorts. This is cool. <laughs> now, YouTube shorts are just normal video. You could make a YouTube video original. So the options have always been unlimited, but what this really is doing is increasing uh, the, the default source material that creators can pull from. They could pull a clip they just thought was funny and recreate it in their own way, or they could uh, twist a clip to imply to a completely new scenario, like often happens on TikTok. And I think one of the reasons I'm most excited about this is that I think it can really, really tap into 
the over a decade of YouTube culture. If people can pull back audio clips from creators they recognize or even specific clips they recognize and use them in new and creative ways, that's, that's a win-win for everyone. While I was hopping around today, um, I also saw that there are some surprising channels that also have the uh, clip functionality enabled. I have, I have high hopes for what that can be too, but that might be its own separate video sometime. But like I said, this is super exciting and you should try it out right now. Even just messing around with it, I, I have so many ideas. I even took the plunge this morning to create a dedicated shorts channel that I am going to put energy into. I know there's tons of conversation back and forth about short strategy, but I think this is going to be, or it has the potential to be a pretty big turning point for YouTube shorts. It's very exciting. Like I've said a few times. But that's all, check it out in the app. And I, I do have to say, um, if you wanna get more into uh, general YouTube videos and editing them specifically, uh, that's what this channel is really all about. Um, I focus on tutorials for the video editing software DaVinci Resolve. I'm slowly expanding. I've done one other video on shorts and I wanna talk more about uh, creators in general and things going on like this. So I had to get this video out. Um, but if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, click over the channel, uh, see if some videos uh, there catch your eye and <laughs> I'll see you next time.